This is vlog 553. Uh, we've had a break in the rain. It's been raining all night long, actually for the last almost 48 hours, pretty consistently with thunderstorms and everything else. But tomorrow is wheels and waves, and I'm just gathering as much stuff as I can to fit in this Mazda to be able to take it. This one right there, got an all new sign, got some Hot Wheels, good to go. That hood just goes on and on and on and makes a gorgeous ass out of itself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never get tired of that. Of getting the nitrous shot like while you're in the face while you're walking by, like he just did you. <laughs> Thank you, man. Is here. I am. Made it. This guy came from Lancaster. That's because he's that's, crazy. That's almost like on another planet. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, and it's dirty now. Wow. What? Tell me about this thing. 383 stroker, twin turbos, a little over 600 horses, <laughs> seven pounds of booze. All in a nice little package. Yeah, yeah. This is Laszlo, uh, one of the um, one of the people that we've suckered into this show. That's right. It's an incredible show. And you have driven this this classic bug right here. Yes. Okay. That is fully not restored in any way, shape, or form. There you go. Uh, it's an original what? 53? 52. 52. 1952. Uh, you got a you got a quick story you can tell me about this? Sure. This car was born in Sweden. I've owned it off and on for 20 years. When I got it, it was not running or driving. Brought it home, kept it for about 10 years, sold it, got it back from a friend who never did anything. Just recently, in the last five years, got it running. I did rebuild the engine and all the mechanicals, but did nothing to the outside, nothing to the in interior. Fantastic. The whole car is all original. So paint. it's a sleeper. It's got a. It's got. What's it's got it? 25 horsepower. So you better watch out when you see me coming it's down. It's rocking. Pushing 55. Yeah. So we can uh, basically uh, drive it up and down PCH and kind of walk next to it. Too. There, you, there you go. If you yeah. got your stroller, you'll be keeping up right up with me. So, but watch out because I'll be out there on the roads driving this. Thing. Only the best. So I'd like to thank him for having the show today it was a great drive and fantastic cars and everybody else out there you better come down because if you're not you're missing something good awesome thank you, thank you again it just puts a smile on your face what's up michael are you happy that your Jaguar is now running? Very happy, thank you. <laughs> Great drive down here. Absolutely fantastic. It's right there. Right there. Grafton! It's another awesome day in Malibu. Here, let's go find the daddies up here. Jonathan Banks, 
hanging out with us at um, uh, the world's best car show. Yep. I got to tell you. Yeah. It, it, well, it, it was. Um, it was pretty cool until you showed up, and now it's phenomenal. Well, thank you. You know. You know I, what I love is that they they hold actors. You've got to realize because of my peers, you know, and, and the amount of drunks and addicts and white beaters and stuff that. I have a really low bar to get over. You know, I showed up sober. I showed up sober. Unbelievable. I didn't beat the wife. Only in Malibu. Come on. What a guy. successful wheels and waves amazing show epic cars even better people had a blast time for lunch you want it you got it it's yours thank you same I, it's still all this super super big thanks to everybody involved with wheels and waves and all the incredible support system that we have from the automobile driving museum daily dive driver project and at wicked uh wicked customs the english car company of course the malibu country mart the malibu village uh, all tremendous people incredible people uh, just having having a great time you know that's just kind of kind of what it is it's it's so neat it's just so cool for me to see all these people assembled together because they want to do this thing they they uh, it brings them joy to do this thing and of course it brings joy to those that come to the show they, they bring their car they get to talk about their car they get to talk about their buddy's car they get to meet people they didn't know before and everybody has a good time and on top of that lop on top as if that wasn't enough as if that wasn't an absolute coolness beyond belief you get free coffee and a Hot Wheels. Just saying. And that, of course, brings me to, obviously, obviously, to today's theme, which is joy. How do you manifest joy? How do you create joy in your life? How do you make your life out to be absolutely awesome? Simple. Just decide to. That's, that's all it is. Just, you just have to decide that you're going to have joy in your life and you're going to start being joyful. Instead of being Mr. and Mrs. Krabby Pants, you can actually be Mr. and Mrs. Joy. It's really not a complex thing. It's really not not so difficult that a, a little kid can't understand this. You know, and you say to a kid, just go outside and play. Just go and have fun. They, what do they do? They don't go outside and mope and, and, and you know, stare at rocks and, and do nothing. They they go outside and play. Eventually, they just kind of come around and say, okay, well, I'm out here. I'm going to play, and that's what I'm going to do. Well, that's what we're going to do, right? Seriously, that's what we're going to do, and that's what we're doing on a daily basis right here on the blog. Achieving joy in your life is recognizing that joy only exists in the present moment. It only exists in ways that you can manifest the present moment 
in your life. And the way you do that is by having fun. Now, you know, you gotta have responsibilities. You gotta do things that sometimes you don't wanna do, but how can you shift those responsibilities? I think my chair just kinda dropped. Shifting your thought patterns, shifting your thoughts consciously in a way that decides that you decide that you're gonna have a good time and not suffer, not hate what it is that you're doing, but actually learn to love what you do. Now, how do you learn to love something you really don't like? Well, you have to take yourself, which is over here, and this is, you're looking at it from right here. You, you can't change the situation. You have to change yourself. So you have to look at it from over here, right about, right about there. You gotta learn to look at things from a different perspective. You gotta look at things like, you know what, no matter what happens, I'm just gonna roll with this. It's just gonna be good, no matter what. Not like it's complex, so decide. Just decide, make the decision every day, every morning when you wake up, that your day is gonna be awesome. You may not know exactly how, it doesn't really matter. You just have to decide your day's gonna be awesome and then voila, pretty soon you could be doing your own car show, you could be doing anything. You could just have a vision for what it is that you want. Just have fun, love your life, bless others, give in any way that you can that's possible, whether it's a dime, a dollar, ten dollars, whatever it is, give your time. But especially, most of all, give love. And that's today's vlog. Oh.